Listen, my brothers and sisters. I know it gets tough. But in the end, there's just one thing you gotta remember. God loves you and he sees you and he cares about what's going on. He just wants you to talk to him. He wants to give you peace. He wants to give you joy. But that sin you're holding on to is stopping the Holy Ghost from flowing and it's preventing you from enjoying a relationship with Christ. He's on his way back soon. He was beaten to the point where he was unrecognizable as a man. And do we need help to overcome sin and temptation? Absolutely. Sometimes we need to fast and pray and ask God to deliver us from anything unclean that might have attached itself to us. Because it can be operating in you and you don't know it. I know this from personal experience of fasting and prayer. This is biblical. It's in the word. But most people don't believe in the power of God anymore. And the nine gifts of the spirit. And just because you talk about it, people say you're glorifying it. And you don't trust in Christ. And the cross isn't enough for you. And all this garbage, man. It's false doctrine and people are deceived. But the power of God is here on the earth. And his children are operating it. But people are blaspheming the Holy Spirit left and right in the church, saying that his anointed ones are operating in a demonic, false realm. They don't believe. A lot of people have fallen away from the faith. But Jesus is watching, and he just wants you to let those things go. He's on his way back. We don't know the exact day or hour, but the season is here. The sure is here. Talk to him. Be honest if you still want it. Fast and pray, ask him to deliver you from all unclean spirits, and he will. And then don't go back. Connect with a local church. Ask God to lead you to the right one that's Holy Spirit-filled. And connect with brothers and sisters so you can stay strong in Christ. With the body of Christ, be accountable to yourself first, and then have other brothers and sisters around you to pray for you. To encourage, to correct. Stay in your word every day. Pray without ceasing. And just remember, when things get really, really rough, you can order pizza socks right off Amazon. They're not that expensive, brothers and sisters. In Jesus' name. Pizza socks, brothers and sisters. Pizza socks.